Today is going to be something that you haven't seen on this channel before. I'll be taking you behind the scenes of today because I have had a very big opportunity come my way for this weekend and um, I've been thinking about like what my vlog will be like um, and I really want to nail down what I have to do this weekend. I've been given a really big opportunity like I say so I'll be taking you behind the scenes and showing you what I have to do when in order to get everything sorted. Fingers crossed everything comes together. There's a lot of moving parts today um, that I'm going to have to sort out and get through um, as the day goes on. So if you're watching this um, presumably you've seen the title and the thumbnail so you have a good idea of what's to come so a huge thank you for all the support in getting me this far and getting me these opportunities I know people say all the time um, on the channel that I should be doing this and I should be doing that um, I love what I do on YouTube I love just being self-sufficient on YouTube but to have these opportunities is absolutely incredible when it comes down it all is down to your support so a huge huge thank you for that so um, yeah, I'm not sure how this vlog will pan out. I hope you enjoy it. It's gonna be something completely different Please hit that like button check if you're subscribed if you aren't, please do um, And let's get down to Rugby Park in Kilmarnock Here we are at Rugby Park and um I've obviously been here so many times for so many games and non-match day videos as well, but it, um yeah, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily that nervous for today. Maybe just like a little bit of apprehension. I've been thinking about it over in my mind um, over the past few days. I can't do my traditional YouTube intro where it's like, ah, welcome to the game. Here, I'm doing this, this, this. You've got to be really high, high paced and quick on YouTube. Whereas today, I need to think about what I'm going to film when I'm inside and when and how I'm going to say it all. And hope it comes together. I just want to do a really good job today. <laughs> Right, we've made it into Rugby Park. Here's the player's entrance. I need to go and film my intro for the um, for the sky bit. So I'm gonna go and find somewhere just now. Let's uh, see. So we've got to try and think like, where's the lighting gonna be okay from? I wanna see a bit of the pitch behind me as well. Um, gotta be professional today. Look at this. We're setting it up and um, I'm not just gonna hold it and do my vlog style thing. Um, it's gotta look good. So hopefully the lighting's gonna be okay here. Let's see how it goes. Hello and welcome to Rugby Park. I am Sam North and I'm here today to watch Kilmarnock versus Heart of Midlothian in the Scottish Premiership. Let me show you behind the scenes in here. So, we are in the Killy Media Room. Been in here once or twice before. Here we have the teas and the coffees and the kettle for everybody. Um, and this is where the press conferences happen after a game. I've just edited the stuff that I needed to um, on my laptop, which is just over there, all my stuff. Um, and here we have some info, some league champion stuff when Killy were in Europe, when they won the Scottish Cup. Let's have a look at who they played. From Sarajevo to Spain, South America to South France, Northern Ireland to Rhodesia. Look at that, let's see if we can see who they're actually playing. 10 points to anyone in the comments who can tell me what one of these teams are that they're playing. But yeah, this is the media centre here. Um, where it all happens um, for Kilmarnock Football Club. And a huge thank you to Killy. They are always very, very welcoming to me. So I'll overlay either their YouTube channel or um, Killy TV or something along those lines. It'll be on screen right now. So go and support Killy online. Go and give them a follow um, on either their Twitter or their Instagram or something like that. They've always been very good to me. So um, speaking of that, let's go and see if I can... I need to try and interview someone pre-game. So yeah, let's see who we can grab. Thing. Alan, so we're back in Scottish Premiership action after the international break. How have things been at the club during that time? Yeah, good. A lot of hard work has gone in over uh, the break in this week, so uh, we're ready to go for this back end of the season now. Does it feel like one kind of final push now after that break? Yeah, I think so. I think we, we understand where we are and what we need to do. Uh, and wins are a must now, and we'll be going out for three points today. Here we go, so I don't think I've spoken to you since um, the press box, but yeah, it's been a um, been a busy day trying to film this, that and everything and make sure everything's um, perfect basically. We've interviewed Alan Power. I feel bad for the fans I've interviewed because I don't know if this is going to be a proper like vlog from that perspective, but 
um, yeah, I'll overlay some of them on screen right now, but yeah, just waiting for the players to come out now. Um, been a good day so far. It's a great strike at Shankland and it is 1-0 to Hearts within seven minutes here. with the penalty and he scored it so we're currently 28 minutes into the game here and um, yeah like I said I don't know how this vlog is gonna pan out um, but I've been so preoccupied and so busy with what I have to do today and trying to like interview people and make sure I'm sort of doing the best job I can I've completely neglected the fact that Liverpool are playing They've lost against Man City 4-1 huge result for City in the title race but look at Liverpool down in eighth Fair play to him, need them points, don't they? See you later, mate. Thank you very much. And there you have it. I think I've just filmed everything that I need to film for my first ever Sky Sports appearance. Exciting time. So yeah, I want to thank you all again for the um, for the support. I'm not going to finish this video now, today after the game. I'm going to see how it looks tomorrow, hopefully on the TV. I've still got to get back, edit it and send it to them and I hope they like it. Um, like I say, it's a big moment, so I, I want it to be good. currently 8.40 on a Saturday night and I've been uh, editing all evening as I usually do on a Saturday to be fair um, but obviously it's for something a little bit different today again I'm not 100% sure how this video is coming together I really hope everything goes well and it looks good um, if you're seeing this it's probably been on the TV um, which will be tomorrow morning so I'm gonna not film a video tomorrow and I'm gonna sit in and watch it um, and just by the by, it might be a little bit darker than what you usually recognise in in my little filming area here. When I edit, I just put, instead of putting the main light on, I usually just put my ring light on, like a warm setting, and could put it down kind of low. So I'm just like editing in this, in this sort of warm light in my room or whatever. But um, yeah, really enjoyed today. It's something obviously um, different, having to film things differently, think of different clips. Um, and liaising with the people over at Sky as well during the day um, but it's been really fun I've really enjoyed it and um, yeah the, the vlog or the the sort of little section here that I've done for them is just rendering now it's got about another two and a half minutes to go so I'm going to send it over to them um, and then I suppose I've got to start work on this video as well so a busy old day no rest for the wicked um, I don't know what I've already shown you in this video and I don't know what's coming up I hope you're enjoying this little bit of insight into my life a little bit of behind the scenes as I show you and take you sort of behind the scenes of a massive day um, in the life of me as a youtuber as a vlogger um, I couldn't do it without the support of you guys so I hope taking you along just shows you a little bit of sort of what I do during the day um, yeah I don't know when I'll next see you probably tomorrow morning so um, good night and I'll see you in the morning right so it is now the next afternoon it's currently half past two and um, yeah I'm just currently missing the first half of South, uh, West Ham, Southampton, obviously Newcastle, Man United's on later, but before, already been on today, Celtic 2-0 away to Ross County. Good game of football. Um, Celtic could have had a few more goals, hit the woodwork a few times, but um, yeah, really cool to see my video at the start of the coverage. Really cool to see, actually, um, those ex-players on the panel, and then uh, obviously my video going on as well. So um, I'd like to say, obviously, I've said it a few times in this vlog already, that um, thank you for the support and getting me this far. If I didn't have the number of subscribers and views and stuff then I wouldn't get the opportunities that I get just March alone like I've actually been feeling a little bit run down the last few days um, it's probably not come at the best time for me this but um, I think uh, just during March like end of February from the um, like the League Cup final that I had the press pass for that was just unbelievable and then I went to Milan obviously had a great time out in Belfast got some amazing access out there from Niffle the Northern Ireland Football League um, and then to come back and do the Scotland games and uh, like a few different bits in between obviously as well and um, then to have the opportunity with Sky this weekend as well it's been a, a hectic like four or five weeks um, which is why I think I just need like a bit of a rest I haven't uploaded since the Scotland Spain game I've been trying to get better for sort of the Killy Hearts game which 
much I am. I'm feeling better now, but I am just like a little bit tired, a little bit run down, probably operating on like 75%. Sky also tweeted it out, so I'll leave a link to that. I'll stick it on screen now so you can see it, but um, I'll leave a link to it down below in the description box or a pinned comment or something um, so you can go and check it out yourself while you're over there. If you don't follow me already, give me a follow on Twitter. Go follow Sky Sports Scotland as well um, whilst you're over there too. But yeah, massive thank you to everyone who's been giving me like kind comments today. Um, people who's been on the videos before, Lavers from Location Football, Moza, Moza Plays, Ryan Dunbar, um, a Ranger support who's been on during a lot of my Rangers videos. Um, loads of like familiar faces that I've seen um, tweeting out support and a lot of ones that I maybe haven't met before as well. So if you're one of them who has liked any of my videos, watched any of them, or left a nice comment on the Twitter um, post today, then a massive thank you. Honestly, it means a lot. Um, I love covering Scottish football um, from genuinely the bottom tier. We've literally been to a game in the bottom tier all the way up to the very top. You know how much I've covered Celtic and Rangers, but I also love to cover 10th tier teams, East of Scotland League, West of Scotland League, Lowland League, Highland League. I'm uh, gonna take a rest maybe the ne next couple of days and then really go again in April I've got a trip planned um, abroad um, maybe do one or two others in and around that as well which I haven't decided on yet so yeah a massive massive thank you for watching this I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of behind the scenes what I had to do during the day a little bit of editing a little bit of filming a little bit of like the media room and stuff so yeah huge thanks to Kilmarnock as well for allowing me to um, to film so much when I'm there um, as per usual thank you so much for watching again I'll leave some videos on screen please do click on one to carry on watching if you go from one to the other it shows the YouTube wow Rhythm that I've got a good channel. If I'm not going to say anything else of note, please just click on one of these videos that are on screen right now. Thank you very much.